Greetings and welcome back again to the news channel, the people's channel. Two people killed in a horrific crash in St. Anne this morning identified. Stay tuned for the full story. Blessings to all subscribers and viewers and if you're here for the first time, you can support the channel by like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. The two person killed in a mass casualty motor vehicle crash on the Landover main road in St. Anne this morning have been identified. They are Kermit Grant of Abacur in the parish and Jennifer Palmer, 56, of Mount Edgecombe in Runaway Bay, also in St. Anne. Where did you put the box? Boy, boy, they try to make sure you get it. Yeah, stop. Let's keep going. All right, hold on. Stop your vessel. Stop your vessel. Stop your vessel. Stop your vessel. I'll be just fine right here. Grant was the driver of the Toyota ICE public passenger bus, one of two vehicles involved in the crash. The other vehicle was a Toyota Coaster bus. Palmer was traveling in the ICE. More than 20 persons have been hospitalized with a variety of injuries. Commanding Officer for St. Anne Senior Superintendent of Police, Dwight Powell, said the 30-seater Costa was traveling down a slope towards St. James when the incident happened around 8.30 a.m. About 500 meters from the intersection with the Salem Main Road. The Costa bus driver may have just overtaken another vehicle when he lost control and the bus slammed into the 15-seater ice which plies the brownstone to Otorias Road, the policeman said. Powell said the road was wet. He says the coaster is owned by the Electoral Office of Jamaica. Families of victims were briefed at the St. Bay Regional Hospital where the injured were taken. The incident caused a massive pile up of traffic leading into the Discovery Bay and Ocherias. Many of the motorists were on their way from the Reggae Fest music festival that finished early this morning in Montego Bay, St. James. In January, three people were taken out in a crash near the site of this morning incident. So far this year, 22 motor vehicle collisions have been recorded in St. Anne, resulting in 27 deaths, Powell said. In 2021, there were 17 collisions with 17 dropout, Powell said. Now, people, this was a horrific crash because I've seen a four-minute video, people, and people... You just don't want to see that. Trust me. Trust me, people. It was people all over. And red water people running all over. No, I could not show that video, people, because with YouTube policy, I could not. You know what I'm saying? So I have to edit out everything almost in that four minutes video. No, people, this is time people take heed on the road you know what i'm saying because everybody can reach home safe if everybody use the road safely too much people now lost them life on the road for 2022 already and last year we have a 400 
plus please leave your comments down below and tell me what you think one aim one god one destiny walk good talk good live good blessings